This video is in response to these and similar questions. Overcoming procrastination is not about building discipline, sigma male mindset, grinding or hustling. It's incredibly simple once you understand the science behind it. Just like a computer, your brain has a RAM. We call it the working memory. The problem is that your mind fills it with tasks of its own like Valorant, hanging out, watching Manwares latest videos, scrolling Instagram, etc. When you come in with a task as heavy as studying, there's not enough space in your working memory to fit that in. Let's dig deeper why this happens. So how does your brain actually decide what tasks to execute? If you've studied operating systems, it's exactly like that. It looks at the cost it will take to execute and the rewards you might get. So when you compare these stats of scrolling versus studying, they're not even worth considering for your brain. Now this is why I love solving lead code problems because it teaches you a lot about problem solving skills. If you look at this question, this is literally a DSA question that if you put in 10 to 20 minutes, you can literally solve it. So there are two solutions to this problem. First is to shrink your task so it fits into your working memory. Then you can use your willpower to prioritize it. Well, hold on, what's this willpower thing? Since we are talking very technically, we'll have to properly define it. Willpower is a limited energy resource that you carry with you that increases the priority of a task. But since it's limited, you cannot set infinite cost to something. So if you pick up a hard task, the cost is going to be too high. And if you pick up an easy task, the rewards you get will be very low. You need to figure out a task that is optimized for these two parameters. To apply this practically literally means you divide your goals into subtasks. Let me show you how. Let's take a task like doing DSA. Can you complete the two pointers module today? Hell no, that sounds overwhelming. Okay, so let's divide it further. Can you solve these three problems today? Honestly, there's no way that's gonna happen. All right, so what about just the first few questions for an hour? Uh, all right, I guess I can. The algorithm is divide and conquer. You keep on dividing your subtask until you find one that you can complete today. Now the second solution is to literally reset your working memory. How to do this? Here there are four algorithms you need to learn. So has it ever happened to you that you enter a new room and you suddenly forget why you were even there? That's because walking through doorways literally resets your working memory. So go through a couple of rooms, take a walk around your apartment or go to a park and it will reset your working memory. Second algorithm is to sleep. Third algorithm is boredom. You wait until your brain finds other tasks unfeasible and makes enough space for your task. This is an extremely OP trick that I have discussed in details in this video. The fourth is meditation. You are training your brain to avoid distractions and to focus your attention on one single thing. 10 minutes a day. You can do this instead of scrolling reels. It's much more satisfying. Now in true DSA fashion, each of these algorithms have their own pros and cons. For example, walking through doorways is quick and easy, but it might not fully flush your working memory. Sleeping is lengthiest, but it completely resets it. Boredom is a specially OP trick for reasons I cannot cover in this video but can be really hard if you have low distress tolerance. Meditation, uh, well, honestly, it doesn't have any cons. It's initially hard to figure out the right meditation for your archetype and after that it's just three-starring your brain. Heavily, heavily underrated. I practice all five algorithms every day. This hybrid strategy leaves no space for dopaminergic tasks to interfere when you need to log the fuck in. I told you it's going to be simple, right? Well, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but it's simple. If this helped you, then let me know what other videos you'd like me to create. And thanks for watching, Manware!